Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can move your browser sources in OBS using the Move Transition plugin. Let's go. First thing you're gonna need is to install the Move Transition plugin. Download and install it. Once you've got it installed, move back to OBS. So first, add at least two sources. Right click on your scene and select Filters. We're going to add some of the Move Transition filters. Let's take a look. We're going to Move Source and I'm going to add three of these per source. The first one is gonna be like goal mover, and we'll say start. Okay, and we're gonna make another one of these. Move source, like goal mover, and, and then one more. Like goal mover reset. And I'll explain why we're doing these three once I get the other goal set up. So we got the follower goal mover. Let's get those three going here. Okay, let's go through all of these and associate all of them with the correct source. So for the light goal mover, let's go and pick light goal. Here we go, light goal, light goal. And then for follower goal mover, let's go pick follow goal. Here we go. One, two, three, all the way down. But here's how this works. The start position is the position where you want this to begin and rest. The end position is where you want it to move once it's done animating. And the reset position is going to be used so that I can create the sense of a carousel or a loop that's always going in a circle. What do I mean by that? I mean, I want my goals to always enter from the left and exit to the right every time. So for your start position, that's gonna be exactly where it is currently. For your end position, let's work with the light goal first. So I'm gonna uncheck the follow goal and I'm just gonna pay attention to the light goal. So light goal start, good. Light goal end, I'm gonna have that move all the way off to the right. So select the light goal, move it all the way off to the right. This is where it's gonna land off screen after it's done animating, okay? And then over in the filters for light goal mover end, scroll down and select get transform. This is gonna get the new position of where you just moved it to. When I click start, you should move it back. And when I click end, you should move it off. All right, great. Now we need to move it all the way back to the other side so that once it's reset, we're set up for the start position to have it always enter from the left and exit to the right. So I'm gonna select reset. Then I'm gonna go back here, click on the light goal. I move it all the way back and off screen to the left. Here we go. Moving, 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 boom. Okay, all right, so we've got this moved off to the left, okay? And then over in the reset, we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna hit get transform, okay? And then we're gonna make sure that these are set to zero milliseconds and then easing needs to be set to no easing, okay? So now when we start it, Moves in from the left, end it, off to the right, reset, boom. Starts it over. In from the left, off to the right, reset. That's the loop. Start, end, reset. We need to do that for every source. All right, so the light goal mover is looking good. Let's hide that and focus on the follow goal mover. Okay, so we got this one in place. We're gonna recreate these same steps. So start, looks good. Make sure follow goal is selected, nice, end. We're gonna select it, okay? Make sure follow goal is selected, move it all the way to the right. Boom, it's off screen, go down, get transform, good. All right, next we're gonna move on to the reset. Make sure follow goal is selected, set it to zero milliseconds, no easing. I'm gonna move this all the way off to the left. Moving, 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 moving. Boom, it's moved off to the left now. All right, get transform, let's test it. Comes in from the left, off to the right, reset. All right, now we're gonna daisy chain these together and then we're gonna set up timers so that they will run automatically. All right, so like will start, scroll all the way to the bottom. For next move, we're going to set up so that it moves down the line here. So. Start will move to end, end will move to reset. Reset will move to start, start will move to end, end will move to reset, then reset will start all the way back over. So we're gonna daisy chain these together. 
So start, next one is gonna be light goal mover end. So next move, light goal mover end, perfect. Select the next one, scroll all the way down. Next move should be light goal mover reset. Okay, then we move on to reset, scroll all the way down. Next move should be follower goal mover start, got it, okay. Move on to the next one, scroll all the way down. Next move should be follower, goal, mover, end. Got it, okay. And then next one should be follower, goal, mover, reset. There we go, got it. And then reset should go all the way back to the start to light goal, mover, start. So reset all the way down, light goal, mover, start. All right, so now these are all daisy chained together. So when I click this first one to go, they're all gonna go, and they're gonna go right after each other, and it's gonna be very quick. So this is obviously too much. This is too much for your viewers. All right, so I've stopped the animation. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a start delay for the end, and we're gonna choose an arbitrary time, and I'm gonna choose five seconds. So that's gonna be 5,000 milliseconds. So 5,000 milliseconds on the end for a delay, and then on the other end, same thing. So every single one of your ends at a 5,000 millisecond delay. Now let's see how clean this looks. So boom, we start, okay, it holds for five seconds and then it goes away and the new one comes in, boom. So then it holds, your viewers get to check it out. Five seconds later, it moves off screen, boom, next one comes on, this is it. So you can add as many sources as you want, you can animate whatever you want, you can daisy chain it together, and you can even set up hotkeys. So you can have a start trigger and stop trigger that's set up for hotkeys. Otherwise, you can use these visibilities on the filters. So I hope this helped you out. This is how you set up your browser sources to be animated in OBS using the Move Transition plugin. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.